Welcome back. You don't have to go to Whole Foods or Trader Joe's to find organic foods anymore. Now they're right there in any Safeway, King Supers, or Target, but there is an added cost. And today we're trying to figure out which items are actually worth it and which ones aren't. Lauren Ott, registered dietitian of the University of Colorado Institute's Health and Wellness Center, is joining us this morning. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. So many people are curious about this and yes. everyone, I feel like everyone has like their one or two organic things that they buy. Yep. But is it worth it money-wise? Because sometimes they can be so much more expensive. Yeah, they can be two to three times as expensive. So what I hope you get away from this is what's worth it and what's not. Okay. So I brought a quiz for you. I'm always quizzing oh you. Oh, boy. And so what I want you to tell me is if you think the food is worth it or not to buy organic. Okay. Bring so it on, sister. Starting with the onion. What do you think about onions? No. Because it, it has an outer, outer layer. Yeah. I don't know. Is no, that right? You're exactly <laughs> right. So every year, yeah, every year there's a list called the Dirty Dozen okay. and another list called the Clean 15. And basically, probably not shocking, the Dirty Dozen are the 12 foods with the highest amounts of pesticide residues. And the Clean 15 are 15 foods which have the least amount of pesticide residue. Huh. And you're exactly right. Foods with a thick skin, like an onion, especially those where you're throwing the skin away, whether it has pesticide or not, you're peeling that off and, and throwing it away. Right. So onions are on the Clean 15 list. You do not need to worry about buying them organic. Does the same go for an avocado? Same goes for the avocado. Okay. So there you go. Avocados on the Clean 15 list too. Okay. So what about our organic peanut butter cups? My worth it or not? My husband loves those. He I mean, is I've crazy been about them. On, over those all morning. I would say no. Uh huh. Oh, I don't know. I would say no, but I'm not really sure why I would say no. <laughs> yeah, so I would say no here too. Yes. My takeaway here is that organic junk food is still junk food. Right. So, you know, it, really? yeah, maybe it has higher quality <laughs> ingredients, but it's still junk food. It's still high sugar. It's still low fiber. So I would say probably not worth uh, it. Who invited you? No, I'm I know, sorry. <laughs> so um, so what the are these? kind bars are next. Oh. What do you think? I would say yes because of the nuts in it, but I'm not really sure. So this was me and it was a trick question. Kind bars are actually not organic, but my takeaway here is that you're better off buying a non-organic healthy product, something like a kind bar that's low in sugars, high in fiber, high in protein, than you are an organic junk food. Trick question, huh? I All know, right. I'm sneaky. Bell peppers organic because of the you eat the outer layer you're exactly right it's on the dirty dozen list this might be worth it to buy organic okay bread sourdough bread organic sourdough bread worth it or not no yeah well, I don't know why well <laughs> kind of the same thing with the peanut butter cups white bread is still white bread and still not good for you. if you're choosing between sourdough breads yeah, maybe the organic's the better choice, but you're better off using a whole grain bread, something like a flat out bread that is organic, or I'm sorry, that is whole grain, even though it's not organic. I did pretty good on that quiz, you I must say. You actually did really good, Except yeah. that little trick question there. Yeah, yeah. So we asked some of our viewers on Facebook um, okay. what they buy organic and what they don't. So we asked one of our viewers on social media what they insist on buying organic. Danielle okay. Sheridan says, anything that comes from a cow Mm -hmm. and most fruits. Mm -hmm. What would you say about meat? So another thing to keep in mind is that things like free range, hormone free, natural, none of those are the same as being organic. So keep that in mind. First of all, those terms are not regulated like the term organic is by the USDA. So be a little skeptical when something says natural because it doesn't necessarily mean much of anything. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, and when it comes to organic meats, I, of course, they're a great idea. Do I think that you have to buy organic meats? No. You could do something uh, like a free range or a grass fed, which like I said, doesn't mean organic, but might still be a better choice, but not always a better choice. And we are close to that out of time, but one of our yeah. other viewers asked about milk. Mm -hmm. What do you think about buying organic milk versus regular milk? So usually people's biggest concern with milk are the hormones. Yeah. Almost all milk now is hormone free anyway. Okay. So I don't think you necessarily need to buy organic milk. I love Believe this stuff. Believe it or not. Thank yeah. you so You're much. Welcome. I learned so much. Of course, we always put this information on our website at 9news.com and you can also chime in on what you buy organic or don't buy organic on our Facebook page.